This programme may contain strong language, adult humour and scenes of a violent or sexual nature. Welcome to SketchUp. The actors, writers and directors of the East Midlands are coming together for a brand new TV show, exclusively for Not TV. Lady. I'm sorry, what is this? SketchUp is about shining the spotlight on the hidden talent in the East Midlands performance scene. As they fight to win the prize of best scene, we're going to talk to the actors, directors and writers and get to know the future faces of the TV industry. Uh, Tenor says it was me. You're but right. with only a few minutes, no set, and only their performance skills to rely on. Will it be a tour de force? You've got to learn the meaning of the word compromise. Or a hopeless sure? flaw. I think I know what I want. Okay. You're gonna laugh, you're gonna cry, and if you're lucky, we'll see some of the magic that the East Midlands has to offer. It's a sketch show with a difference. It's created by local writers, but how did the producers find these writers? What we did is we went to the Nottingham Writers Studio and talk to them about the project, about the concept. Cue Adrian Reynolds of the Writers' Studio. Uh, oh, looking back, uh, I think it's yeah, basically no more than three actors is, is the constraint to no more than five minutes or so. So, it's, yeah, that's, that's, that's it. But that wasn't all. They could only use one location and they had to be based around the theme of the deal. But the, the idea of a deal is, is very simple because a deal kind of, if you think of what a deal is, it's kind of, there is, there is lots of potential there for people to disagree. <laughs> the call for scripts went far and wide, but only 21 scripts made it through to be performed for the SketchUp final, ranging from silly comedies to heartbreaking dramas and some surprising places in between. With the scripts in the bag, the next challenge was to find actors to bring them to life. The Actors Workshop took the mantle of finding actors that could bring life to these scripts. You know what that means, auditions. It's time to find our cast, and where better to find the next big thing than the BAFTA award-winning television workshop. But first, let's talk to a man who knows a thing or two about talented new actors. Ian Smith was the creative force behind the television workshop for the last 30 years. After his stewardship, people have gone on to be in This Is England, Game of Thrones, and even work with Angelina Jolie in Unbreakable. Let's hear what he makes of SketchUp. All those things coming together to create, I think, quite a unique platform for local talent. Um, it's exciting. We're pleased to be hosting the first stage of this. And I look forward to seeing the final stages uh, when it's both transmitted and performed. So, yeah, looking forward to seeing the, the, the finished results. Pleasure being here at the beginning stages of it and just having a little bit of see as to what's going on and how it's been run. Thanks, Ian. So, let's check out the first actor to audition for SketchUp 2016, Sophie Tilly. Nobody shouts or talks too loud. I mean, you know the show, right? You know Raquel. She'd be perfect. Think of the pathos. And that's what I said to her. I said, sweetheart, I want you to make them fucking weep. Stick them with pins. I don't want there to be a dry eye in the house. And then I go for a Chinese burn and shoved her on the stage. You know, being in the moment um, and being present and being connected to that script, you know, I totally believe it can be taught. Um, but it's about challenging that person um, fairly relentlessly. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, just stay with us. There's more that we want from you. <laughs> yeah. Um, could you could you just um, have another go? At that? Yeah. that was great. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you can keep as a director or as a workshop leader to sort of feed in that 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 sort of that environment for them to work in, to to, to question, to 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 find some of the answers, to close down. Uh, some of the options to make the right choices as well as the journey through the text happens. To show off more about that, all these, these brilliant tips that you gave her. Mm -hmm. And then 
the contrast between that and when she, when she, the daughter fucks it up. Right. And that's her fault. What you want as well is, is a sort of sense of freshness every time that they hit that performance, that, that repeat performance. And she was spellbinding. Little hairs standing up on the back of my neck. And that's when I genuinely, genuinely thought that she has what it takes. Until the last verse. When she actually started crying and it was a nice effect. But then she just stopped singing. And started saying, Mummy, Mummy. And then they're coming to fetch me. And the stage manager's saying, oh, thank you very much. And it's just evaporated. That magic. They know that she's not a professional. That she's only six. But if she isn't going to fucking do it now, when is she going to? That's what enrages me. There was a little bit of Tim Evans working with Sophie. Tim Evans is part of the team behind the Actors' Workshop, a Nottingham-based training facility for adult actors. He's also on the audition panel. So, Tim, what have these actors got to do for us? To bring a monologue with them, something that they'd um, prepared, and that initially sets people apart straight away. Have you got the commitment to research and find a monologue that suits you? Take that piece of established writing on board and produce a character. I'm going to be doing a piece from The Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, cool, OK. In order to Caprio's speech. Nice. In, front of the, uh, in front of his company. You've one. got some big shoes to fill there, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Not only make it believable and, and true and naturalistic, but can you make it interesting as well? Can you, can you spark the audience's interest? It's up to each and every one of you, my highly trained strategists, my killers. My killers who will not take no for an answer. My fucking warriors who will not hang up the phone until their clients buy or fucking die. I want you to be ruthless. I want you to be relentless. I want you to be telephone fucking warriors. Let's knock this one apart. Yeah. You've got to admire a man who gives it his all. But unfortunately for Dan, not everyone made it in. That said, not everyone who made it in had an easy time doing it. We were quite forgiving in our judgment in that we knew that this is an intimidating environment. If we saw that there was there was potential there and that there was the capacity to create interesting and believable characters, then we may forgive the odd mistake here and there. This brings us to Deepak Ajilla. His chances of making it through rested in the hands of Tim and the audition panel. But would he make it when he was struggling to pull off that truthfulness from a tricky Shakespearean monologue? By how much better than my word I am, by so much shall I falsify men's hopes. And like bright metal on a sullen ground, my reformation glittering o'er my fault shall show more goodly and attract more eyes than that which hath no foil to set it off. Thank you, Deepak. Great. Go on, Tim. Um, I'm going to ask you to do something that's probably going to be very difficult. <laughs> so I'll be really impressed if you Thank get you. close to management. Um, could you do that again, um, but translate it into modern English? Yeah, okay, cool. Um, I, I'm going to make myself something. I'm going to have my day. And you know when I have my day, you guys are going to be shit scared. Because I don't just speak up for myself, I'm speaking up for everybody. And everybody knows me. Yeah, we're all rolling together, but yeah, everyone knows that I'm onto the side. I'm the side, fucking, I'm the side chick. I hate to say, but yeah, I'm the side fucking chick. And I don't like to be the side fucking chick. And no one likes this. I don't like this and everyone knows it's unfair! So when I do get my shit and I get my stuff together, fuck you all! Because you know what? Nothing would have started off without me! And all you guys put my shit together like it's nothing, but I fucking work hard on this! So yeah, when I'm ready, you guys be fucking querying and back you're going back to your little boys and back to your little ends. 
Because you ain't heard the last of me. Trust me, you ain't heard the last of me. Good, man, Tim. Good. Well done. That was Brilliant. great. That was really Brilliant. good. I can't believe that you managed to do that. <laughs> and I can't believe that you managed to do it that well. That was great. Cool. Uh, Phew. He almost didn't make it, but managed to pull off a fantastic performance. Deepak was just one of the great actors who auditioned for us. Let's take a quick look at some of the other faces who came to see whether they've got what it takes to make it through to the rehearsals. I just brought you from. Tis mightiest and the mightiest. <laughs> I'm putting it right at this guy. Love can be murder. Take from me all the time. He said all the things I wanted to tell her. It was as if I needed this child's approval. You and me call it sick. With your whole body. Vacancy! You guys got vacancies, right? Meanwhile, I'm going to you guys to the bus station for the money that was in her fucking rope. You're not scared. I'm scared. And the ability to remain sexually fulfilled for ages. Like, literally, like, years and years and years. But the thing is, yeah, I've already got nine bridesmaids. Do you see what I'm saying? Nine bridesmaids. I'm it's just a business. Now fucking pay me. Sorry, I forgot my line. I know you sometimes watch me sleeping. I know, because I'm not actually always sleeping. If you've drawn breath to speak civil to me this past three years, I might have felt a touch of regret. The panel have certainly got some tough decisions to make. Join us after the break for more auditions. <laughs> Words of wisdom from Ian Smith. All exciting things. And the beginning of the SketchUp rehearsals. Welcome back to SketchUp, where the actors, writers and directors of the East Midlands are coming together for a brand new TV show, exclusively to Knott's TV. SketchUp is shining the spotlight on the hidden talent in the East Midlands. In part one, the writers brought their scripts to the table and we began the search for the acting talent that would bring their work to life. Uh, Tanner says it was me. But who will win the prize for best scene of SketchUp 2016 and write their names in the history books? Let's catch up with a man who knows a thing or two about acting, sure? Ian Smith. I think I know what I want. Okay, okay. He's taught some of the biggest names to come out of the region. So, Ian, what should we be looking for in our auditionees? Some of the names, some of the big names of workshoppers, you know, the Sam Mortons, the Joe Dempses, the Jack O'Connells, the Toby Kebbles, the Ashling Loftuses, uh, Vicky McClure's. Um, I think all of these people came to the workshop not fully formed, but with a real energised approach. They, they were hungry. There was a hunger there. You take the life out of life. You take colour out of everything. Words. This house. Anything you touch, you kill it. But what you got as well was an instinctiveness. Now, instinct's an interesting sort of concept because, you know, you, an instinctual performance is born out of, it's not some magical thing. That's when I saw him. Good boys. Skinheads. It's born out of imaginative play, you know, and that can happen in discussion, it can happen with other people, it can happen in your head. I can feel their breath and it's pad, pad. Pad, they move in, you move out. It's pad, pad, pad. <laughs> Lifted one man by the chin, can you imagine it? Fucking beautiful, the rest of them scatter. I caught another man between thigh and calf, picked him, dragged him, nutted, fingers poised to pierce out his eyes. When am I surprised? I saw a figure watching. So instinct is, is always based on that imaginative preparation that you do. Um, but that's, you know, that's sort of, it's there. You sort of know that, that they get it, they get the character. But when you're thinking about me tonight, as I'm sure you do most nights, when you 
slide one hand down your boxers as your wife snores next to you. When you think about my face, my teeth, my lips, my tongue, the shape of the skin around my neck, I want you to stop tugging for one moment and to ask yourself just one question. When was the last time that you held somebody and registered how precious they are? Well, you, you get an actor that's, that's got all this instinctive energy, this, this vibrancy, this, this danger, this unpredictability, all exciting things. They go to drama school and they, they, they get three years of being Raderized at this, you know, it's an homogenization of their talent. And I told Daisy to her face what everybody knew and wouldn't say. And she killed herself. And I played the villain just like you wanted. Because it makes you the good guy. It makes you the good guy. And you get to come back here all sweetness and nice and sad and contrite. And everybody wringing their hands, congratulating you on all your bravery. And I played the villain. Oscar Wilde. Um... I'm misquoting it totally. Talent is a delicate bloom. Touch it and it's gone. Lana, look at me. Look at me. If you go through with this, you will be out of my head so fast it'll make your head spin. It's, it's something to do with that groundedness. It's something to do with that dangerousness. It's something to do with the, that risk-taking. Um, but, you know, that's, that's, all you're doing is encouraging that you're not stifling it. And as I say, if you, if you try and do too much sort of steering, you allow them to steer themselves. You occasionally just bat them along the right route. The panel had a tough job on their hands. Actors came from far and wide. And after two gruelling days in the basement of the television workshop, a cast of 21 was born. Be sure to take my bloodied shield, wield it in the court of this witch's council. Now I am your doctor. Brilliant. Great voice, really natural performance. Yeah, really yeah good. It was quite good. Good, solid performance. A man that felt like such a regret. Smashed it out of the heart, yeah. Lifted one man by the chin. But I know you sometimes watch me sleeping. That's great. We've selected the final cast members of SketchUp 2016, and we've got a shed load of great scripts. But who's going to bring it all together? Tim Evans' job was to take the actors that were selected, to bring them into contact with the writers, and to create a safe environment for the directors to come and work with it. So that was the first process, putting Tim in as the kind of sergeant on the ground, leading the troops, into some sort of like creative battle, wrestling with this uh, these scripts. Serious business. Looks like it's time for some serious preparation. Wait, what's all this about? Guys, what's this? Why are they singing about a tractor? What's happening? Guys! If you're acting with other people, you're acting in the same space as other people, or probably anything creative, you, you need to feel like you can make an idiot of yourself with, and then that'd be fine. Um, so there's a lot of trust, there's a lot of letting yourself go, finding that idiot within yourself, and being comfortable with showing that idiot to other people. If you can be comfortable behaving like a funky chicken for two and a half minutes at the beginning of a rehearsal. You're much more likely to then be comfortable weeping when someone tells you they don't like the smell of your breath in a dramatic situation or whatever is required.
you're much more able to tap into those underlying emotions. It's just about larking about. While Tim gets the cast back on their feet, let's talk to Sarah Hughes about the differences between theatre and screen acting. Sarah is a top casting director, working for playwright Alan Akebourne, TV shows like Jonathan Creek, and even helping cast the opening ceremony for the 2012 Olympic Games. I talk to a lot of actors who worry and think that they're two different branches of acting. In my opinion, they're absolutely not. I think it's just the difference sometimes between talking to a thousand people talking to a hundred people, talking to one person, you know, your camera is one person. Um, I was talking to an actor the other day, someone who's a director as well, I've just cast a play for him, and he was saying when he came out of drama school, he got a job quickly, got a job on Holby City, and um, he realised on the first day of filming he had absolutely no idea how to walk down a corridor and talk at the same time <laughs> with a camera backing away from him. And all he thought about, well, I've actually trained for three years, I just think I'd better just give it a go. <laughs> So I think it's always interesting for someone like me who's based in London um, but casts a lot of stuff regionally to see a lot of good actors based here because there's always, there's always interesting work to be seen. But I'm just really looking forward to seeing it. I'm looking forward to seeing what you're going to come up with. Let's leave Sarah sharing her pearls of wisdom and look forward to what this series has in store. Of the 21 sketches in our final lineup, only one can be crowned the winner. That decision rests in the hands of a panel of top professionals from the film and theatre industry, and they're expecting big things. My name is Penny Chettle. I'm Head of Spool and also Chair of Commissioning for Knotts TV. Hi, I'm Al Clark and I run Wellington Films, based at the Broadway Cinema, with my partner, Rachel Roby. Um, I'm Nick Harvey, I run the television workshop. We all like different things. If I could answer that in 30 seconds, then uh, my job would be a lot easier. I just like to be told a good story. Getting comedy timing right with comedy is, it's a bit of an art, you know, it's an art. Without a good script, you're never gonna make a good film. It's, it's an Alfred Hitchcock thing. You need a great script, a great script, and a great script. I love female comedy. Something that sets it apart from everything else, something you haven't seen before. A really solid story. Uh, something that's familiar with, with every day, with our everyday lives. Passion, something we can connect to. We have to invest in the characters. Very different and original and fresh. Tight writing. At least one character in there who I'm kind of rooting for and I want them to, to succeed and want them to kind of win the day. If you go away and you're, it, it's kind of still with you and you're still asking those questions, then it's worked. Very well developed characters. That's for me what keeps me watching. Well, they're not expecting much then, but will the SketchUp team rise to the challenge? You'll have to watch to find out. Here's a taste of what you can expect this series on SketchUp. Your money or your land. Taylor, it's not. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to be sick. I can finish it. Oh. Right, girl. Oh my god, I speak English. You've you got nothing better to do today. No, I mean. Adam! Stop by what you said! 